Good morning. We're so glad you're here. If you like vlogs, you can enjoy today's video. Make sure you come back every day. I just remember the most important piece of these waffles I'm making. The fancy new syrup. Okay, I kind of had to figure out how to get it open with the classic wax seal, but it smells like syrup and bourbon. Here's Sarah's plate. It's so good. Is there anything sweeter? I actually was going to try and capture him with his hands folded, which is pretty sweet, but then he grabbed onto my thumb, which is also pretty sweet. Maybe they're equally sweet. We're eating waffles and got dog days on. Oh. Mm, we have a little, we have a little gremlin under here watching us. All right, so I have James out and about. We're gonna go check out, I think there's a farmer's market today near the school in our neighborhood. And then maybe the park. The ground is a little muddy and wet though from the rain last night. So we shall see. Rookie mistake over here. Rookie mistake. We walked past the park. My intention was to go to the farmer's market first because I think it's gonna be a quick little zip around, maybe see what's there. Let's see if we head back with Sarah. Um, I'm gonna see what time maybe it ends, but rookie mistake, walk past the park and James is not big enough and smart enough to be like, hey, Dad, that's the park, man. We gotta go there. And I was like, well, we're gonna go after Farmer's Market. He's like, no, now. So he got upset for a moment, but we're going to the Farmer's Market first. Here we are, outside of Nettlehurst School, which if we lived in this area when our children are school age and if we decide they're gonna not be homeschooled and they're gonna be public schooled, like we were, I would love for our kids to go to the school. But look at this, already advertising for the Belmont Sheffield Music Festival and the Lakeview East Festival of the Arts. That's what we came back to um, last year where we literally parked over, walked over, met Mark Herschel the artist that we saw yesterday who and bought that living room piece of ours. But this is actually not a Hearst, is actually where the farmer's market, I believe, is on in their like playground. Look at this cool horse. Well um bit of a bummer, maybe they decided to cancel it because of all the rain. Thank you, Chicago Cubs charities. That's fun. Where's the farmer's market? Probably because it's too cold and rainy. All right, we got a donut. We're gonna go to the park and eat the donut, okay? And we got one for mom too. And I got a coffee. So, we're still looking good even though the farmer's market didn't happen, right? Made it to the park, but I don't know if James is gonna stand eating the donut with the park right here to go play in. You want some donut? I actually have no idea where we're going. Um, we played in the park for a little bit, but it was just too wet from yesterday's rain still. The sand, and James loves the sand, so like he wasn't able to play in that. But I didn't want to go home just yet, so we're actually nearing Southport. We passed by Christina and Grant's old apartment. And we'll see, maybe we'll go to some shops, check out some fun stuff, I don't know. But. This will eat up time just to walking there and back. 
and you get to see all the beautiful houses. Old and new. It's been a minute. If you guys remember famous Southport? We'd always talk about this when Christina and Grant lived over here. It is chilly, and I just looked at the, the weather app. It's actually only going to get colder for us today. It's 54 right now and dreary, and gonna get dropped down to, I think, 48. But we're gonna walk down Southport a little bit and check out some shops. Also, a little bit of a bust. Um, Everything on Sunday on Southport, basically, besides like a couple coffee shops, which we already stopped by a coffee shop at Stands, um, opens up at 11 or 12. It's only 10 right now, so we're walking on Addison to head back to our neighborhood. Just, uh, I think Sarah's done editing or almost done editing, so I think we're just gonna go home and see what we should do for the day. So we just passed Wrigley underneath the CTA, which to me is like arguably like the line. Um, east of Wrigley that is like now we are in our neighborhood, but I wanted to show you all these cute pigeons also show James because James loves pigeons So let's get this cute bird feeder out The cute pigeons, you love them. We're back home, and before I give Sarah this donut, I wanted to show you it's actually Winnie the Pooh themed. <gasps> Do you want some of this? Yes, come on, let's go to mom. <laughs> Look at that hairdo. Got two beggars on our hands. We salvating. So did you guys have too much fun without me this morning? <laughs> or did you have no fun without us? We had some fun. Some fun. Okay, we gotta turn this day around. The vlog is almost live. What are we gonna do? I don't know, it's only supposed to get colder the rest of the day. Welcome, Sarah, to the vlog. Have you been in today? I saw baby as well as you. Oh. James is going crazy on Rex. <laughs> we may or may not have ordered. Disintegrated this morning. <laughs> it was like five strikes you out on that adventure James and I took today. What happens when you let your son try Mountain Dew? Mm -hmm. Nap time does not happen. Oh, oh. nice. Oh, oh, oh. Hi. Yeah. The logical thing is to do when you skip nap time. Shove all of your little people into Figment. You got too many in there to close it. You gotta kick some out. Oh, now try. Now try. Watch. Now a little close. Yay! Yay! What are you trying to do? Trying to climb to the window? You can't climb to this window. This window works. The other one's the broken one. So goofy. P.S. Look at Evie. Yeah. Oh yeah. James, you just brought me the camera. What's up? You want me to show them all you. The people you brought to me. Whoa! 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 whoa. Ah! 
a big pile. So we are truly, since the boys got back, we have not been doing anything today. Just being on the couch. I don't know why I have jeans on. I mean, at least they're maternity jeans. And I bought these maternity jeans probably like 15 weeks into my pregnancy. And they were large on me. Like I should have got, like, I like also sized up when I should have just like gotten my normal size in maternity jeans. But now that I'm almost, I mean, 37 and a half weeks, they finally fit. So that's nice that they, they fit, but I've been wearing jeans. He's just over there with his crazy hair researching. I really, I thought we dodged this whole new camera, new lens situation. Potentially. Oh yeah, we definitely. So what I think he's referring to is the fact that we would get a lens and then eventually get a new body. So like it wouldn't be like everything all at once if we could kind of manage with the body that we have now and get a certain lens. We left the apartment. Yay! Sarah had been on all day and we were getting so crazy talking about cameras and lenses. Or like, we can talk about that while walking. Plus, we wanted to see if James wanted to go for the toilet while we should before he went sleep. Yeah. So, we're gonna uh, stop the jewel. And we got a pizza. Rain and I this produce, processed meat things, animal products after this weekend. Maybe get a close to pizza to kick it yeah. off. Yeah, our talk is like Peter to get back on his running schedule and for us to fuel our bodies better. So, you know, we like a good kickoff. Yeah, send, like. Send off. Yeah. Enough. Yeah, we less, got, a less hurrah. We got babies to, to live long for, so. Yeah. Gotta keep reminding it, focusing it, like that's the thing. Yeah. Not to be skinny, not to look good, not to do right. anything other than just like live the longest for these kids. Right. And feel good so we can have fun. Yeah. Where did our baby go? James, he fell asleep. He literally <laughs> rolled through talking, walking through the aisles, his head just like, like, slung back. Oh my gosh. Peter's gonna carry him home. I don't know if he'll be ready for bed. He did not have a nap. Um, I don't know, it's past seven. We can try. What, uh, what are you eating? A grape. We got some fruit from Joel. Um, I think I got him in the crib, still asleep. Socks and shoes off. Pants and sweatshirt still on. So we'll, we'll see. see. Yeah, oh my gosh. That'd be crazy. That'd be un that was an unexpected turn of events. Did you put your pizzas in? I preheated the oven, even though I don't believe in preheating. Well, let's, pop, let's pop them in then. <laughs> One, that's a miracle. And two, I don't know why something like that happened. Which, me vlogging now, reminds me I need to get a little little tool and tighten the little holder that our external microphone, because we were using the external microphone yesterday morning, and as the day went on it got loose, and I remember that's why we stopped using it, because I meant to tighten the holder, because it was shaking, and then you could hear it in the vlog, and we don't want that. So I just need to fix it, and we can use our external mic again, which is good to you do. Delicious pizza. Well, we bought two pizzas, knowing that we have a hungry child. He fell asleep. Sitting up. <laughs> so, we're gonna eat as much as we can. Did we tell the vlog that we, uh... Bought tickets to go see Doctor Strange. We did not. Two different times. Yeah. So one of us is gonna go hang out with James, and I'm sorry, one of us is gonna go. The other will hang out with James. Then the other will go, and James will go home and go to bed just because of the timing with it being. It's like next Friday. 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 Is it super hot? Yes. Um. So I can keep talking for a sec. Um. Uh, next week we have a bunch of appointments. James has his 18 month appointment. He's 18 months today. He's a year and a half today. So like tomorrow he'll be closer to two than he has one. Crazy. Um, so we have his checkup. We have, both of us have dentist appointments. Peter may or may not, we might have to cancel with just taking all the time that we need for the other appointments and working around Peter's schedule. And I have a dermatologist appointment, which I'll talk about more like I always do. I've, my six month checkup, I'll talk about all of that. And then I have my 38 week appointment. I'll be 38 weeks 
on Wednesday. So we're kind of like just getting all of those appointments out of the way before we're just focused on the baby and obviously Jamesy and packing the hospital bag and getting ready so that whenever we are ready for like someone else to come in and take care of James, like whatever our scenario is with going into labor, that we feel like prepared to like hand him off to someone. So it's gonna be a good week. What is this up here? I, I noticed. <laughs> Oh jeez! So we're finishing Secret Life of Walter Mitty because we never watched it. It's May oh, first. Oh, we fell asleep. And he just said, "Wait, the volcano May second. That's tomorrow." Tomorrow is May second <laughs> in our life. How crazy That's is that? Freaking out. Yeah, nuts. Destiny. Did you like Secret Life of Walter Mitty? I did. Top five movie of all time. I wouldn't say that. I'd have to think about it. Top Maybe. fifty. Top fifty movie of all time. Yeah, sure. Um, I thought you were going to ask if you convinced me that we should get a lens. It wasn't that I convinced them, you, it's yes. did we, we actually convince did, each other. We actually did sufficient research. <laughs> we did like six hours of research. <laughs> Which, like, we're, we're pretty impulsive and we're also pretty, like, we get an idea and we do it, like, but we also really like to believe in what we do yeah. so i'm proud of us we gave some and we took some yeah. and i think it's going to be i think it was all the right decisions yeah so the new lens gets here wednesday so teddy can't come before wednesday, wednesday. okay i've been having good days so i think i think we're in the clear I'm gonna like put clear this. Clear for when? Clear for the 18th? Clear for like. Wednesday? The, no, I'm saying like clear for. The other day I was concerned. <laughs> so I'm, we're in the clear for the near, very near future. Great. Our message of the day is successful people are always looking for opportunities to help others. Brian Tracy. Microphone's fixed. It's good to be home. Good early morning. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you enjoy today's video, make sure you come back every day. Want to know the most Monday sound ever? Oh. Oh. Hi, Jamesy. <laughs> good morning. You want to help Dad make coffee? The sad truth is, there's not enough coffee grounds, I don't think. <gasps> Oh, really? Oh, he found the bottles. Uh oh. Everything about Monday is about business. So what do we do on Monday business morning? We put on Boss Baby. We just haven't watched it in months, and so we were missing it. I'm out of my mind. Sarah's also losing her mind today. I, like, had this idea that when I woke up, I was going to, like... Conquer the world? <laughs> All before lunch. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm there. donating coats. I'm going through <laughs> winter hats. She wants, to want. she wants to figure out like what we're doing this week, and what we're doing next week, and then what we're doing this afternoon. But then this, and then that, and like. And I, I like keep starting laundry, but like never starting. I'm just like little all over the place. But I tidied the, the living room. <laughs> yeah, it looks great. I'm literally sitting there at work, like getting my work <laughs> email set for like the week, making sure nothing came out over the weekend, seeing how everybody's doing, and Sarah's just like every like two minutes like saying something to me and then I, I go to fill up my cup of coffee mixer you are <laughs> all down. over the place <laughs> it's because i maybe slept 12 hours last night and like it's may and so now i'm like i just want like i'm ready to like have teddy but like i want to feel like, I don't want to worry about our surroundings once he's here. So now it's like, I'm ready for him. Now I want... needs to get there. Yeah, I, I'm ready. Like, our apartment needs to be ready. So, so my Monday... i got to say, it's going pretty well. I'm getting a lot more set up for when I'm out of the office for four weeks. Just before 2 o'clock Florida time, I've got a meeting at the end of my day from 4 to 5 to finish my day. So, in reality, I only have, like, two more hours left of work. 
because then I'll go into that meeting. So pretty, pretty quick. Like I was doing a lot, nothing crazy, no fires or anything, just a lot of like organizing for my Monday. Um, so it kind of flew by so far. I hope that I didn't just jinx it. Space bags, bins, things for storage, things for storage, things to be installed in the car once we're done with storage. By the end of tonight, this will all be gone and it'll look like a functioning multi-child room. I'm also super bummed because I just went ahead and I ordered a bluey vinyl for our family. It was supposed to be delivered today and it's delayed and or lost. So more to come there. James is eating his dinner a little, a little late. I forgot to say that the spinach, vegan, raviolis are good. They good. Good. It's 9.30 and I just realized that we did not go grocery shopping. We have, we have enough for lunches and I realized I have that fried rice from Trader Joe's. And I have some like, the very last of our produce. I chucked some of it from our last grocery trip, like the fruits and such. But like, I think I can make it one more day. Why am I like this? Comment if you're someone who like keeps your cabinets and fridge stocked. We just always been people who wait till the last minute or like really like I get creative and like I use everything I have. I don't know, maybe that. That is just one of our toxic traits. All right, Teddy's, not, now Teddy's cleaned, washed off and rinsed. Car base is properly installed behind Jamesy there. The car is not the cleanest. We have to clean it out still, but we're using it to transport stuff to storage. Kind of like our luggages that have been sitting in our home for months now, it feels like. So I'm gonna load this up so that we will be able to um, hopefully, not tomorrow, we're busy tomorrow after work, but hopefully Wednesday, get all of this into storage and then do a thorough vacuum clean of it and then it'll be officially ready to bring Teddy home. But right now, after tonight, it'll be like quickly ready. Like if we had, if Sarah like water broke, we had to go to the hospital, it would be ready to go because the car seat is installed, so. Check it out. We have a clean room. Have a clean, clean, clean room. Okay, not totally clean. So this stuff. <laughs> That's the car seat. We're, we're washing the actual cloth of it. It's air drying now. So tomorrow, the base is in the car, but tomorrow the car seat will go in the car. That's gonna go in the back, kind of live in the back of the minivan once we have all that stuff for storage out of there. Cause that's our, for our double wide, or our bobby boo that will be a double wide. Um, so, pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. I'm very happy. Even it's been like eating away at Sarah and I that all that stuff was just there. That closet is like you'd be amazed at what Sarah and I can do with like the smallest amount of cubic space. But we are swept. We are organized. We are cleaned up and ready for baby to go if he arrived tonight. So that's the important part, and we are ready. Do you remember laying in that when you were a baby? Uh, it was big. Yeah, it was bigger then because you were smaller. This was leaning against the wall and he just came over, grabbed it, and sat in it. I pushed him back so he wouldn't lay down. Oh, well, you wish it was bigger? Why can't I have a bigger one? Do you need help up? There you go. Here. What's cool about it is there. There you go. Wow, now you can lay in it and your feet don't get caught. I have unfortunate news for you though, James. It's not really yours anymore. It's your 
little brothers now, okay? Sorry. So it's still later than I'd care to admit. But Jamesy went down. Seemed fairly easy. Peter's already out. He finished helping me clean up the toys. And so that is all done. Tomorrow starts our appointment marathon. So our days will be a little just different than usual. So it was a good, like, it was a weird day with James napping for three hours on my lap and then another hour on the couch. But, I mean, I guess that's what we needed before before the rest of the busy week. Also in my hand, whoa, I hold the last of our Easter candy. <laughs> Monday, May 2nd, at Alfitter begins. Today's quotes by Pope John Paul II. Freedom consists not in doing what we like, but in having the right to do what we ought. Kind of fitting with the news that's coming out of in American politics today. We got a lot done today on a productive level. Stuff brought to donation, stuff ready to put into storage, stuff brought to garbage, stuff assembled, stuff packaged away. All the stuff. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.